Yeah, see, he's not even there to be able to sign things himself. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not good, is it? Unless that's a photocopy or something of Simon. Uh, no, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm filming now. I just uh, wanted to let you know everything that's happened. I won't go over it much because it's really horrible to talk about. But basically. Uh, they come in and they they pretended to be paramedics in the end and uh, I know there was a video, I've only just literally got the camera back today because they said they were holding it as an exhibit or evidence or something but they didn't actually have any warrant or any oh, any order or any, any, they didn't charge us with anything but they still kept our, our camera, they kept our camera for a week uh, but basically, I've got it back today, and I, I wish I'd have filmed that bit when they came in because they dressed as paramedics. We see neighbours that saw them dressed as paramedics and pretend to be paramedics, and then I got got in the door. They were saying, "Hand us the baby, hand us the baby," and then they, when they took her, they they said, "Get on the floor," and they threw me on the floor, and kept kept pushing my face into the floor they called them facets they kept smashing my face into the floor more and they tasered me handcuffed me handcuffed Amy bruised all her her wrists and they put her in the car didn't didn't take her ha hands out they stuck her hands behind her she's bumping up and down all along the way uh, they, they, uh, they, then they tried to get us assessed they said that that's why they'd arrested us because we hadn't done any crime. But they'd, they'd put me in a riot van. Uh, they'd put Amy in with all these other police. And the man, the man said, yeah, see what we went in there and we were seen by the psychiatrist and they said, we're okay and we're good to go. And I think the woman felt sorry, to be honest, uh, for everything that we've been through. They bruised all my face, all my body, everything. Uh, the horrible, horrible people, they lied to us, they said we just want to check on the baby, we just want to see the baby's okay, see the baby's welfare, I showed her the baby through the, I sold her, her through the window, uh, I, uh, I, I done, I done, I'm basically, you know, I talked to them, they kept saying we need to talk to you, we need to talk to you, I talked to them, but that wasn't enough, they said, we need to talk to you face to face, I talked to them through the window, face to face, that wasn't enough, the woman kept pretending she couldn't hear me, uh, yeah, and I could hear them fine, but no, it was it was horrible, and uh, the, the, the man argued with the psychiatrist, told Amy she needed to get her effing head straight, uh, sat and saying that he didn't agree with what she'd said basically, so just arguing with her, saying that he knew better basically, because uh, they wanted her, her, obviously they wanted her to be locked up. Uh, the man that, that dealt with me thankfully was a lot more reasonable, uh, but the, the people, in, in, most of the people involved in it, you know, just, oh, it makes me, me sick what they done to us. And how they, they, they took her, the first thing they'd done, they said they wanted to give her a medical check, they didn't do that. They just took her straight out and they didn't even they didn't even wrap her up. They just took her straight out the back door. Uh, it was disgusting. Just passed her over the hedge like I don't know what, like some animal, like just passed her over the hedge to someone else and went out and got out their paramedic gear that they dressed up as paramedics it makes me sick I've confronted several of them I've confronted them I've I called one I called, got one man in the court called, called him scum <laughs> I, I, in front of everyone else everyone heard he, he took our child he lied to us he said that he was going to send in medical people to make us look at her and make sure she was okay said they sent in police to snatch her 
and, and, and beat us up. Uh, there's no, no fairness in the world, the way they treated us. Just disgusting. They held on to our stuff for ages. They took, they took the case because they said they needed it with all her clothes in, but they, ne they never kept any of the clothes. That they, uh, that fit, they never gave any of them to the social worker, they just kept them. They never took her milk, they never gave her anything that they took from us saying that, that they needed it for her. We, we even tried to give them, we even tried to give them clothes and they, like later on, and to give them back so she could have them, but they wouldn't take them. Oh, it's, it's beyond disgusting what they've done to us, it really is, it's absolutely sickening. Sickening horrible people. But we got, we got our stuff back now and most of it, most of it. But uh, they didn't bring our case back. The, the social workers never came when they said they were going to come. They never gave us any numbers to contact them on. We, we did fight, get a number eventually, but that wasn't even for the right office. That was for an office in in Dublin, an office in Malingar, where we, we aren't even there. So they gave, they gave us ra random numbers and said we couldn't ring until Monday, so the office won't be open. Well, well ho Hope must be somewhere. So why aren't their staff answering the phone wherever she is? Why, why, why can't we talk to anyone? Sorry, there's someone looking after her on a weekend. So, so what? Why does it seem like everyone disappears? It's absolutely. It's. You can't believe. You can't make it up. You know. You can't make it up. And. I, I hate this. Um. I think we're probably probably. Well. I don't know how much I should say really, uh, but we will we'll find a way, you know. And, and the bloody people, they're so crooked, they're such the pure scum. That's what I called the men. I kept calling them scum. Bloody coward, hid behind his friend. Pigs. And fascists who, f who go around telling other people what to do, you know, that's what sort of people we're dealing with here who think they have the right to boss other people around, tell other people how to live their lives. It's absolutely surrenders. Anyway, yeah, so it's about it. I ain't gone back to the flat, we ain't gone back to the flat. I don't want to go back to the flat. Uh, I can't even be in there. I don't feel safe there anymore. The reason they gave, the reason they gave for for like why they apparently like locked us up was just why they arrested us was because we had a mental illness. That was it. That's all they need, and that supposedly hasn't changed. Even you know, I've still got depression. I still aren't happy. I've been happy, but they took away my happiness. And they, 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 they assaulted me. And now I don't feel safe even in my own house or in a bed and breakfast. But in a bed and breakfast, I'd like the money back. But I don't probably won't get. It. I'd like the money back that we had to spend on taxis to get to the court. That we found out we had to go to a court like two hours, two hours after they told us or something ridiculous, at eight o'clock we found out and they didn't even know where, where the court was being held. And we did find out in the end some very suspicious circumstances. Basically, you know, I don't know how the police found us, but somehow they knew what lawyer we were going to go with. The one they, I don't know, maybe they just guessed because I recommended him to us, but... 
right I don't want to live like this anymore it's horrible it's horrible not knowing what they're going to do it's horrible not knowing this, this thing yeah so I think I've said enough now anyway I'm getting bored of talking to myself Excuse me. I don't know what to do anymore. Though. It's just like, is this shit really, really happening? Is this for real? Like bloody hell! Like fuck me. Sorry, I can't help it. It's horrible. It's horrible. I wish I'd have got them fake paramedics on film. I bet somebody has them. Uh, I bet we can find someone on, on the estate who has. Find that them lying, pretending to be people that they're not, impersonating health people. You know, what, why do they even make laws if they're going to break them? They have enough other rules that they're not willing to bend on, like. I to ask them to leave us alone and go away a hundred and one times. They wouldn't, they wouldn't, he's kept saying, oh, it's my job. You know, they weren't willing to, they weren't willing to leave us alone, but... Yeah, they you know, they'd be out of a job if they weren't harassing people. Because there's, there's not that many, I mean, that they, they want, especially like them armed people, you know, they have nothing better to do, so... Seems like they have nothing better to do. It's pissing me off. Sorry.